Taglit Birthright Israel is celebrating its uh, 15th anniversary with a uh, half a million participants, including a group of 22 youngsters from the Jewish community of India. Yes, uh, a dwindling uh, minority in their country. They look at Israel as their possible home. Shahal Pella joined them. The partnership between Israel and India is an example for the entire world to see. Israel and India are moving to the next stage in their relationship with a much-anticipated historic visit by India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Israel, expected later this year. Until the premier arrives, another kind of visit is taking place. My friends do not know that Jews exist in India. They have no idea about the Jewish religion. They are like, oh, I, you are like my first Indian, uh, first Jewish friend. The Taglit Birthright Project, aimed at connecting Israel to Jewish communities across the world, is hosting a group of young Jewish Indians, a diminishing minority in their country. Even the Indians sometimes don't know that we exist, you know? <laughs> like, we, like the Indian Jews, are first to many of other religions to be like a friend. Like in my school, I had over 500 students in my school and I was in an international school, but I was the only Jew in the entire school. India, predominantly a Hindu country of more than a billion people, is home to less than 5,000 Jews, mostly concentrated in Mumbai. The spiritual connection to Israel alongside economic factors prompted the Jewish community, which once consisted of over 30,000 people, to immigrate to Israel. Although they are native Indians in every aspect, some often feel strangers in their own country. Ilanit, for example, bears a Hebrew name, foreign to her Indian friends, but well known on the Israeli street. It is not very common in my community because there are very few uh, Ilanits down in India. Uh, most of the times they get the pronunciation wrong. And uh, frankly, when I came to Israel, the Israelis were the first people to get my pronunciations right. I was very happy with that. In the Independence Hall, where the establishment of Israel was announced in 1984, two soldiers accompany the group. Both made Aliyah, emigrating from India, and are now proud to serve in the Israeli military, a step they wouldn't have considered if they had stayed in India. I know that my country needs me. Someone has to do it. I felt this was my country, and so once I immigrated, I immediately enlisted. My family immigrated to Israel 10 years ago. We are happy here. We miss India. But there's nothing like Israel. My family owns an Indian spices store in Ramla Market, so we keep our culture, living the Indian life, but in this region. The rapid immigration from India to Israel over the last six decades left behind 14 synagogues, two Jewish schools, and a dwindling community. But ties between the two countries appear to be going strong. And to what may be some tragic news for die-hard Simpson fans, after decades of marriage, Homer and Marge Simpson are getting legally separated. On the first episode of the 27th series, Homer is set to fall in love with a phar uh, pharmacist played by none other than Lena Joneham. Yes! I would marry Lena Dunham. We're going out for a break, an update from our news desk, and I'll be back for the third part of the news today. Don't go anywhere.